Throw your left hand on the top. Okay, we're going to do four flips. This is beginning walk. Okay, one, one two, two, three, four. That's the hardest one. You got that? We got it. Okay. Great. We can go now. All right, ready? <laughs> All right, now let's switch your hands four times. One, two, three, four, without switching the bricks. One, two, three, four. And if you drop them, you have to start over again. Great. Okay, so you have to dribble them four times again. One, two, three, four. So you start, if you miss that one exercise you're on, you start back at that exercise. You don't have to start back at the beginning. Okay, now let's make it into an H. Okay, so the outside hands are going to be vertical. The middle bricks going to be horizontal. That's it. You're going to make the top ends meet, so you're going to make it into a straight line. So it looks like this. Straight line. Top ends meet. Oh, you got to catch it, Tanner. That's it. Kind of straight line. That's it. Straight line. There it is. You got to see and hit it. It's like a forehand. Okay, back in the middle. And then palms up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. On the board. Back to the center. Okay, let's do that twice. Top, middle, bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom, middle. Easy for him to say. Start with your right hand, you flip your right hand up and it flips the middle brick 180 degrees. And then you catch it. See how it's an active warm up? You get to pick the bricks up. Soft, quick hands, relaxed concentration, ambidexterity, processing a ton of information, reforming under time pressure sequences. Okay? These time pressured situations that you get into. You gotta be able to become clutch performers. Okay, so you go right hand up, look at this. You go right hand up, 180, and then left hand up, 180. So in the beginning walk, you do that four times. You go one, two, three, four. One. Oh, two, now start back again. One, two, three, three and four. Nice. Let's go. Cool. All right. Then we're done.